Traffic calming is any change we make to a street so that motors drive in a more civil fashion. What that does is it signals to the to drivers that they need to slow down, be aware that they aren't dominant in a certain environment. And traffic calming is infrastructure to make sure that, that happens. Is the infrastructure going to serve the pedestrian as well as the automobile? Or is our pedestrian infrastructure going to continue to be shaved down so that more vehicles can move as fast as they want? Adding bike lanes. Anytime we take some of the physical width out of the street, we're really doing traffic calming. In New York City, they've recently released studies to show that streets that have bike lanes on them reduced killed or significantly injured uh, crashes between vehicles and, and pedestrians by up to 40 percent. Traffic calming actually had its origins in the United States in Berkeley. Or Donald Appleyard, the original researcher that did most of his work in Europe, brought traffic calming to the United States. We have many, many circles, a number of curve extensions, chicanes the through streets, and a whole other goggle of, of different treatments have been tried and worked uh, very well in Berkeley. We were able to create this one-of-a-kind initiative on Marine Drive to radically narrow a street. Traffic would race down the street with huge population density on one side and all the park district amenities on the other side of the street. So this obviously was a problem. So the street was narrowed and bump outs were created. It's reduced heat holding infrastructure. It's made a profound difference in the ability to get to and from the park. And it's beautiful. It has become a wonderful, wonderful model for the rest of the city. In New Jersey, there's a state law that says you can't park within 25 feet of a crosswalk. So these two orange poles that are installed on the street, one in front of me and one behind me, are Hoboken daylighting poles uh, to uh, physically prevent all but the most adamant drivers from parking uh, in this location. The importance of that law and the importance of having these poles here is it improves the visibility between drivers coming down the roadway and pedestrians that are entering the crosswalk. I'm standing just on the edge of a bicycle lane that's five foot wide on a street that was previously 16 feet wide for travel lane. Uh, that 16 foot wide travel lane is actually wider than the, the travel lanes on the New Jersey Turnpike, which are, have design speeds of 75 to 80 miles an hour. We made the argument that by putting in a five foot wide bike lane, you squeeze the travel lane of vehicles down to 11 feet. Uh, that's a much more appropriate uh, lane width for vehicles in an urban environment, and so it has an inherent traffic calming effect. Uh, the great thing about the bike box is that, while it provides a lot of visibility for, for cyclists at an intersection, it's actually a pedestrian improvement. So what it does is it sets up a nice hierarchy at every intersection in which they're applied. So you've got the nice crosswalk for pedestrians, and you've got the bike box for cyclists, and then you've got the motor vehicles who have to then stop at an advanced stop line back here. So it really sets up a great um, uh, precedent for intersections, uh, not just here on a living street, um, but for other streets as well. So I'm sitting at the intersection of Bergen and Smith, which is actually the intersection of a community street and a living street. The DOT built a very large, uh, what they call a neck down, sometimes called a bulb out or a curb extension here. Uh, bulb outs are really beneficial because what they do is they allow pedestrians to be much more visible at intersections and because they extend into the normal sort of street right of way. Um, it also just provides more space, so it makes it more comfortable for pedestrians to be uh, in the public realm, to be um, walking along our streets. Signs don't do the job. That even having police officers on the corner do not do the job. Altering the infrastructure to, as we say, create an even playing field, to force traffic to behave in a more civilized manner is the way that it has to go.